I love going to flea markets because you never know what you will find in advance. Last Saturday I found an isolation transformer. The seller got it from his father but had no idea what it was. He described it to me as a safety device with a switch. After trying to lift the device, I knew it had to be a rather powerful isolation transformer because it is heavy. For the small price of only 2 euro, I had to get it. In a nutshell, an isolation transformer is useful for two reasons. Number one, for safety. The mains power in your house is always referenced to earth. If you touch the line, the hot side, your body completes a circuit to earth. A current will flow and that current can be lethal. The isolation transformer's output, as the name suggests, is isolated from the mains. Therefore, it is not referenced to earth anymore. If you touch it, there will be no current flow. Unless you touch both terminals of your output at the same time, of course. Number two, for testing. The ground connections of most test equipment, such as oscilloscopes, are connected to mains earth internally. So if you connect the ground to anything else but ground in the device under test, you create a short circuit, unless the device under test itself has no earth reference. The isolation transformer allows you to connect anything in the device under test to the ground of your test equipment because the earth reference has been removed. More info can be found, for example, on Wikipedia. For these two reasons, an isolation transformer is a really nice addition to my fleet of test equipment. This is the inside of the device. Notice the output socket has a connection to earth, the gray wire in the center. That is a big no-no, because depending on the internal configuration of the device under test, this might bypass the isolation transformer. For comparison, here is a photo of the inside after I worked on it. So what did I do? I replaced some of the wiring, I removed the dangerous earth connection from the output socket and moved it to a separate binding post so it remains available as an option. I installed a bigger illuminated power switch. Now there is a light for power on the primary side and a light for power on the secondary side. I installed an IEC socket on the back in place of the permanently attached mains cord. I installed a carrying handle on the top that I took from a blown oscilloscope and I labeled everything. At that point the unit looked fairly complete but I was not quite happy as there was still no way to monitor the output current and, given the constant line voltage, the output power. So I purchased a big AC ammeter. These are quite expensive. I paid 11 times the price of the isolation transformer. I used the Dremel tool to cut a hole into the front and installed the ammeter. It is connected in series with the isolation transformer's output. The photo also shows that once there was a much more complex device enclosed in this case. And yes, I can touch the output and I really don't feel a thing. It's totally safe. The isolation transformer powers this giant old 300 watt light bulb with ease. Thank you for watching.